time is passing by all the time. And although everything that surrounds us seems to be stable and durable, it is in fact constantly drawn by a mechanism that slowly, but consequently, leads to its total decomposition. So what if we had an idea that we wanted to store for centuries? What do we store it on? On stone? <laughs> well, the storage capacity is not very big. On parchment? It's too costly and not very humane. On a magnetic tape? Well, it's gonna start demagnetizing about in 30 to 50 years. On a CD? Well, we're gonna start losing information after 7 to 12 years. On a pen drive? Well, pen drive is not really for storing information, it's for bringing the information from one device to the other and it wears off really quickly. SSD drive? Uh, well, yes, that's a good idea, but we have to keep it in a cool, cool, cool place and I do mean the temperature. Uh, in the cloud, so shredded bytes of information stored all over the world. Well, unless we don't lose the key to this puzzle, it's a good idea and we as a civilization had a lot of ideas what to store our data on. Um, like, for example, who remembers the floppy disks? All the real memory banks that we stored the first colored pictures from Mars on. 30% of that original data from Mars is already irreversibly gone and the rest can be read by a digital archaeologist because a job like that exists already. So, what about paper? Books, they're for cellulose, they're for long chains of repeating fragments. Each fragment is a ring built from um, atoms of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Each ring is bent in energetically stable conformation, called the chair conformation. In this position, paper can relax for a long time. Unless we don't improve upon the paper making process, and we did just that. In the middle of 19th century, we added an um, acidic environment into the paper pulp. And I'm sure you know what I mean. These are books uh, that have yellowed pages that smell in a specific way. And when we try to read them, they just decompose in our hands. Why is that? Let's have a look inside. Um, this acidic environment left behind uh, hydrogen cation. This cation is going to accelerate the natural process of hydrolysis, so breaking the chains and making them even, even shorter in a faster, faster time. But shorter uh, chains means weaker paper. Fortunately, we can deacidify books and thus get rid of the annoying intruder. And then books can last, uh, well, if they're printed on a good quality paper nowadays, without the asset pre present inside, they're going to last 300, 400 years. And the best thing about books is that we can read them using just our hands, our brain and our eyes. Time is passing by all the time. But we as a civilization are not yet ready for the book to pass.